In this demo, Switchable Graphics starts in integrated graphics mode. Optimus, on the right-hand side, is automatically in the correct state. Switchable Graphics in integrated mode does fine for basic applications like web browsing and playing solitaire. However, you get bad performance when you use a complex application, like a 3D game or GPU-accelerated multimedia application. In this demo, we'll use the benchmark 3 dmark Optimus, on the right-hand side, when it starts a complex application, it automatically uses the discrete GPU. The performance difference between the two is easy to see. Even better with Optimus, when you go back to your basic applications, the discrete GPU automatically turns itself off and you get great battery life. With switchable graphics, you need to first switch modes to discrete. The problem is that you have blocking applications that need to be shut down before switching. So let's shut those down. Now you're ready to switch. Now that you're in discrete mode, your GPU is always on, whether you're using a basic application or not. Start the game, performance is great. Shut down the game, but you're still in high performance mode and your battery life suffers. To use the integrated graphics, you'll need to shut down all your applications again and switch. Few users ever switch with switchable graphics, so they either get good battery life or great performance. With Optimus, you automatically get both, seamless and automatic, without compromise.